this is my last little video of the day. Um, this is my last one of my mini hauls for shopping after Christmas. Um, again, I got up early. I went shopping early. I went to Walmart, Bath and Body Works, Yankee Candle. I went to my mom's and ate leftovers. So I have been running ragged all day. I am tired. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like you have all this like stress in a way, not that it's necessarily bad stress. So um, you have all this stress like before the holidays, like let me get all my gifts. Let me get them wrapped. Let me make sure I make it here on time. Let me, did I get it something for everybody? Who am I missing? Let me get this all wrapped. Like it's just kind of, a, or let me bake this. What am I bringing? Let me go get that veggie tray. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's just a lot of work. You know, the holidays are a lot of work, a little bit of stress. And it's like, once the holidays are over, it's finally just like, oh, like now I can relax. And it's like your adrenaline, that, that stress leaves you and you just like crash. So I'm like exhausted. Um, and then, like I said, I got up early and was shopping around. So I'm looking a mess, but I want to show you guys what I got today. My last stop that I went to, to shop for semi-annual sale or after Christmas sale deals was at Yankee Candle. Um, they were having, they start their semi-annual sale the same time that Bath and Body Works does. Um, it didn't look all that impressive, but I will say if you go back and visit the Yankee to my annual sale they actually will put new things out or make things 75% off instead of half off um, so I do have really good luck with going back and visiting Yankee Candle um, throughout the semi annual sale so um, one of their sales that they were having today were all of their like Christmas candles were on sale uh, six large jars for $60 so normally they're $27.99 so $10 a piece is a super super good deal um, that is over 50% off and paying $10 for a large jar Jar. I cannot be mad at that. I've been trying to kind of branch out a little bit and burn a few more Yankees. Um, I, I've had it's been hit and miss. A lot of times they're totally unscented, but I keep just trying to have faith um, and hoping that I'll find, you know, some ones with some good throw, but um, they're still really nice. I I've been enjoying burning them like in my bedroom because um, I'm not in my bedroom a lot. Like when I get home in the evenings and I kind of light the candles throughout my house, um, you know, I spend most of my time in like the living room or the dining room. And so the bedroom is just like when I go to sleep and when I go to sleep, I'm blowing the candle out anyway, but I like to have a candle lit in that room so that if I'm like coming in and out you have the ambiance of the candle it's just really relaxing so um I, I found myself kind of liking burning Yankee candles in there because even if the throw is not so fantastic I still get that glow and the ambiance of a candle but um they last forever and Bath and Body Works candles don't and so it's kind of nice to just you know they're called like house warmers or whatever they're nice just for the candlelight and I'm hoping that one day I will be super surprised and find you know find one with a super strong throw but um I've been trying to branch out and Yankee candles been kind of winning me over with their semi-annual sales I've been having better luck with them than Bath and Body Works as far as finding things for super cheap and finding candles for you know rock bottom prices so um, I did take advantage of the six for 60 um, it was $65.75 after tax so it ended up being almost $11 per large jar which again is a super good price as far as I'm concerned and I'm really excited about a couple of the ones I've gotten um, so let me show you what they are all right, so this first one that I got is the sprinkled sugar cookie, and um, a large majority of these were this cookie swap limited collection that were part of the six for 60. And this one honestly doesn't smell, like it smells like a sugar cookie, but I almost get like a mulberry scent in the background, which I found really weird, but I absolutely love the scent of mulberry. It just was odd to me. But definitely just a sugar bakery note, uh, sugar cookie. It's pretty basic. This is also one you could burn year-round because sugar cookie applies to any season as far as I'm concerned. We always can eat cookies. All right, the next one that I got from that cookie swap collection is Magic Cookie Bar. And this one, I do have to say, oh, it smells amazing. You definitely get some chocolate in there. And then you get sort of like a vanilla cream, but you definitely get a sort of cocoa note in this. And it just, it smells absolutely divine. So I'm really hoping that this one throws because it literally smells amazing. You get some cocoa. I think you get a little bit of peanut butter in there as well. It just, it smells delicious to me. So I'm really excited to burn this one. All right, this one I also found really interesting and I'm pretty excited to burn. This was also from that Cookie Swap Limited Collection. Um, and this one is Crunchy Pistachio Vanilla. And it's a pretty kind of pistachio color. And this one, it reminds me of a Bath and Body Works candle. And I cannot put my finger on what it is. It's not the chocolate pistachio one that I just burned. 
because there's definitely no chocolate in this, but you definitely get that sort of higher pitched kind of pistachio note. It just smells really, really nice. So crunchy pistachio vanilla. I love the color on this. This would be beautiful to burn like in the spring, just, you know, turn it around or really the label doesn't look that Christmassy. I mean, it's just cookies and some sparkles. So this one, you know, I can burn later on down the line. But it just, it smells amazing. So kind of excited about that one. It was kind of unique, kind of an interesting scent. All right, and then I just got some kind of, you know, classic scents or whatever. Um, this one, Cherries on Snow, I bought one of these a while back. Um, I don't remember if it was last Christmas semi-annual sale or maybe it was during the summer one, but I was able to get one of these Cherries on Snow the last time there was a six for 60 deal. Oh, and it is amazing. It smells exactly like Cherry Luden's Cough Drops, if you have ever smelled those. It smells like a, a wild cherry lifesaver. It is this sugary, sweet, kind of cherry candy smell. I, it doesn't smell like, you know, a black cherry or like a, a fresh fruit cherry. It smells like a sugary, sweet, candy cherry flavor. Oh, and it smells so good. Like, this one is amazing and I actually am burning one of these now the one that I got last time I am burning it now in my bathroom and so far I think it might be a little bit more promising on the throw than I've had you know with my last few Yankee candles so we'll see as time goes by I just lit it tonight so we'll kind of see as it progresses through if that you know starts to put out some good throw um, and I'll make sure I do a review on that when I'm done but if you have not smelled cherries on snow Oh, it smells exactly like cherry candy. It's amazing. All right, this one is like an oldie but goodie. So Red Apple Wreath has been around for a while, and it's got this beautiful kind of Macintosh note and then this little, little bit of green in there, but kind of primarily apple, but it's a little spicy apple, you know, and it's just, it's a great candle fallish apple to me is more fallish than winter um, when I think about winter I think about like your bakery notes or your super strong clove or your super strong cinnamon apple to me is more of a fall scent you know obviously that's kind of when apples are in their peak blooming season or whatever um, so definitely one for the fall Ugh, smells great and again, you know, hopefully I'll have a little bit of throat. You can see these definitely have plenty of oil. Um, they're definitely saturated, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be any throw. All right, and the last one I picked up was this one, which is All is Bright. And I have not seen this one before, but to me, the vibe I'm getting from this is like Yankee Candles version of Champagne Toast by Bath & Body Works. It's got that really crisp, effervescent champagne note and... It, it reminds me a lot of Champagne Toast. It's not nearly as sweet as Champagne Toast. It's more of a just crisp champagne without kind of a, the, that sugary background note. Uh, if you've burned Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's definitely like a bubbly, effervescent champagne note. So perfect for, you know, New Year's and things like that. I just thought it was a really nice crisp note, which is, you know, a nice change from all of the holiday bakery kind of cloying winter scents. Even though I love those, um, it is nice to have, you know, a little break from the monotony. All right, so those are the six jars that I got at Yankee Candle for the semi-annual sale. I needed another candle like I need a hole in my head, but you know, that 10 for that $10 price point is really hard to beat. I never buy Yankee Candles unless I can get them for that $10 price point or less. So um, I'm happy with it. These are a lot of scents I have not burned before. Um, the only one I have burned before is the Cherries on Snow, like I said. Um, I burned a Christmas cookie before, but I haven't ever burned sugar cookie, so maybe they'll be a little bit different. Um, so I'm just kind of excited about the scents that I did get. $10 for a large jar is awesome, guys. I believe that sale is going to be going on for a while. Um, so just, you know, sign up for the email or check on the website before you head to your store or even call ahead and say, hey, you got this six for 60 or whatever. Um, I did see a couple of Halloween items that had been kind of brought out for the semi-annual sale at 75% off. Um, but the only candle I saw was like a it was a swirly one with orange and green, and it smelled nice, but I was like, I'm going for the large jars. So um, that's what I got. Let me know if you guys went to the Yankee Candle semi-annual sale, and if you did, what did you find? What did you get? Um, again, I will probably go back and revisit the sale in about a week or so. They're really good at marking things down for 75% off. Um, the lady I was talking to, I believe she did say they end on the 17th, so there's still going to be you know three, four weeks left of Yankee Candle selling. I only buy Yankee Candles usually in January and in June when they have their semi-annual sales. So let me know what you guys got and I will see you in the next video. Bye! And even though you guys never see her,
Here you can see my sidekick that is always literally right next to me when I'm filming a video. So she's always here supervising everything I'm doing. She's my foreman and my supervisor. <laughs> she is sleeping. This is her new bed that she got for Christmas. Um, it always sits kind of right next to me here in the kitchen. I'm usually sitting here grading papers for hours on end every night. And so she just kind of sits here next to me and, uh, um, you know, that's just how she rolls. So I have my little floppy eared honey right here. <laughs> you can see she can't even keep her ears, her eyes open. She's super sleepy. I love you. I love you. Go to sleep. She's so sleepy. Okay.